All right, what's up guys? Well, it's been a while since we've done a video, but I, uh, I have had it on the drawing board and we'll be getting back into it. Um, but I digress into the video, so it's not 17 minutes long. Um, I was feeling the, uh, the other day, I mean, during worship and stuff, there's had a powerful uh, time of, of worship and, and, and praise. Um, and I really felt strongly uh, regarding Isaiah chapter 6, where the Bible says in the year King Uzziah, or Uzziah, however you pronounce that, uh, when he died, the prophet Isaiah says, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. And, of course, his train filled the temple and, we, and the vision of the throne and, and all that. And we'll get into it in a little bit. But the thing that really stuck um, out to me during that time, what God was saying in the service at that time was, you know, this is a time of mourning, a time of, uh, of weeping. Uh, here you have the leader of the nation uh, has, has passed away, and people in times of transition like that often are confused or, you know, what's going on, or they're, they're thinking about, you know, some of the good old days or whatever. And yet Isaiah says, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Uh, God was high and lifted up all throughout. The thing is, this became known and seen by, by Isaiah, and we have to be able to do the same thing. When circumstances in our lives are tragic, and that, that does happen, things happen that are just tragic, and we can ask why, and we can, and sometimes there is no why. It's just that life stinks sometimes. And then other times it's awesome and beautiful and wonderful. Uh, but we have to get our eyes in the right place. We have to get our eyes up looking at the big picture. That's not physically necessarily. Maybe you need to do it physically just as a symbolic thing, but it's not physically per se. It's spiritually. We need to see where we are, where God is, and go by that. The Bible says, looking into Jesus uh, in Hebrews, the author and the finisher of our faith, we need to look toward Jesus. Now, how do we do that? Most of the time, it's in our attitude, in our spirit that comes through prayer, sometimes meditation and reading of the word. Oft times, in a time of tragedy and hurt and pain, it happens in a small meeting, in a home church group meeting, or a, or a service, or whatever it might be, where we're connecting with other people, and we can draw on the strength and the resolve and the prayers of other people. This is why it's so important to be plugged into a body of Christ. Uh, but ultimately, we need to be able to see God in his rightful place. And when we do that, we can see God high and lifted up above our circumstances, above our trials. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. Do not fear. Do not fret. God is the Lord of all. God did not get blindsided by the tragic circumstances or by the, the disappointment or by the, uh, the thing, the trials and tribulations that you're going through or that I'm going through. He didn't get blindsided. He did not say, oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. Wow, let's uh, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's hopefully we have a plan B or C here. That that didn't happen. God knew it was coming. He saw it coming, and we need to see God over and above all things, no matter what we're going through. So I want to encourage you today. If you're going through something, it's time to hit that prayer closet. It's time to connect in a prayer meeting. The devil will always try to get you isolated. Uh, and if he uses tragedy to do it, he'll, he'll do that. Or if he uses success to isolate you, nobody understands the success that I'm having. And so I have to be over here by myself. He will always try to get us isolated. So don't let trial, tribulation, circumstance. If you're plugged into a body of Christ that is truly a loving body of Christ, you will have people around you that have been there. They've done that. Maybe they're going through the same thing. You will have leaders. You will have people that love you and that are ready to bind together with you. And so plug in, connect with God in your prayer closet, in the Word, in meditation of the Word, in study of the Word, and with the body of Christ to support you to be able to get your eyes up 
where they need to be to see the Lord high and lifted up above all circumstances. I love you guys. Uh, be blessed. Have an awesome, what day is this? Awesome Wednesday. And we'll catch you on the next video.